Hi everyone, I am your brother Lawrence. Shalom and I welcome you to the Gospel by channel. The Lord Jesus Christ is the desire of our heart. May the Lord be the desire of your heart too. In today's episode, we want to look at love versus truth. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And like we indicated, we want to look at love versus truth. What is that love and what is that truth? Recently, I put a status on my WhatsApp story and a very good friend of mine tried to punch holes into the scriptures that I put or the thoughts that I put across and he was trying to say what I didn't say. So today I want to bring out the, uh, the difference between or uh, the relationship between love and truth. Now, as we all know, God is love and love is of God. Now, truth or the love of God proceeds from the truth. And what is that truth? We are going to endeavor to look at both hand in hand. We all know the Lord Jesus Christ, when he was here on earth, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. And so we will read few scriptures to lay our foundation on what we are going to talk about. And uh, our first scripture reading is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. And it reads, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Love the Lord thy God with thy heart, thy soul, and your mind. Give all that is within you to the Lord God Almighty, the one that came and died to set you free. The second scripture is taken from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. And it reads, Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as, as thyself. I am the Lord. The Lord is entreating us to love our neighbor as Ourself. If we love ourselves, then we will reach out and give that love, that agape love that God has given unto us, unto our neighbors. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God commended his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. What a great love. We were lost. We came to this world. We didn't have hope. But in due time, in due course, Christ, the Lord Jesus, died for us. That is the great love that he showed unto humanity. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God, born of the incorruptible seed. And when you are born of God, 
the love of God, the agape of God, proceed naturally from you. It is not you who is going to force it. It is not something superficial. It flows through the agape, uh, through the, the, the knowledge of the truth, by the fact that you were being born of that incorruptible seed. 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. And this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we, through Him, that we might live through Him. It is only through the Lord Jesus Christ that we can live. Therefore, God commended his love to us and then manifested the Lord Jesus Christ unto us. John chapter So we see that God is revealed in his word. We are going to look at that in in in, in a moment. Let's read these scriptures and then we establish the fact that uh, by saying that God is revealed in His Word. John chapter 5, verse 39. He said, Search the Scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. That was the Lord Jesus Christ on His earthly ministry, telling the, uh, the apostle, His disciple, Search the scripture or the religious leaders of his day. Search the scriptures. In them ye think ye have eternal life. It is it is these scriptures that speak of me. In John chapter 6, verse 63, you see, it is the spirit, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and the uh, life. The word of God is spirit and it's, it's life. And the, the very common scripture that we all know, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly finished unto all good works. So what are we saying? We are saying that God is revealed in His Word. When you have the truth, when you have the truth of the Word of God, God is made alive to you because the Word and the spirit are one. You cannot have the spirit without the word. Neither can you have the word without the spirit. And so when you have the word, which is God in print form, then you have life. So we see that the scriptures are the truth. They are the truth that can set man free. We are not talking about religiosity. We are, we are not talking about the doctrine of men, traditions of men, which is death. You know, the Nicolaitan spirit, the religious organizations, they are all death. But the truth, it is only the truth that can set you free. And where can you get that truth? That truth is God himself. The Bible says the Spirit of God is truth. First John chapter, chapter 5 verse 6. This is he that came by water and blood. Even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that bared witness because the Spirit is truth. 
the spirit is truth. And so the truth, the spirit, when you have it, you have the truth. And out of that, love, the agape, emanates from you and affects you and your neighbors and your generation. And if the word is God, as can be seen in John chapter 1 verse 1, he said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now, and the word is truth. As recorded in John chapter 17 verse 17, when the Lord Jesus was praying in the garden of Gethsemane, he said, Lord, my father, I have manifested thy truth or thy word unto the people that thou gavest unto me. Thy word is truth. The word of God is truth. And so if God is a spirit, then God's spirit is the truth. And the spirit and the word are one. And so the spirit, the word are truth. The spirit of truth. And so when you have that truth by which you are born again, not born of incorruptible seed, but born of the incorruptible seed, not by the word of man, but by the incorruptible seed that is able to save your souls, then the love of God will proceed out of you. So, in the nutshell, the spirit of truth comes first, and then out of that spirit of truth proceeds the agape. You know, the love that is in you will enable you to what? To follow the spirit of truth, to know more of the spirit of truth. Because what? The spirit of truth is the word itself. Shalom, and may the Lord bless you as you seek the spirit of truth. There are so many doctrines floating around in this end time, which are death. But if you will seek the spirit of truth, the love of God that surpasses all human understanding will emanate from you to affect your generation. Thank you and stay tuned as we come your way the next time in our next episode we are going to look at how we can separate ourselves totally onto the truth we know the story of abraham when god called him he separate, separated himself totally from his kindred from his family and set himself aside for god to use and even when the son that god gave unto promise unto you when that son was manifested and that son became of age Abraham told his servant to go back unto his kindred and take a bride for the son we are going to look at all this in our next episode stay blessed and may the Lord bless you shalom and shalom <music>